Hello, welcome back to another tutorial. Today I have a really quick one for you. I'm gonna show you a technique that a lot of people use on Instagram that you might not know about. And I used it in my most recent photo. So I'm gonna give you that example as well as another one. So what we're gonna be doing today is what I would refer to as scaling an image. Now I'm not sure that that's exactly what it's called, but that's the goal of what I'm looking to do. So if we hop into Photoshop, I'll show you exactly what I mean. Okay, once we're in Photoshop, things are fairly straightforward. All I wanna do with this image is make the scale a little bit more grand. So I wanna take my subject here and make them appear a little smaller in the grand scheme of the landscape. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna have your finished sort of image. You're gonna create a new document. We're gonna go four by five because that's the crop ratio for Instagram. You're gonna take your original photo, you can drag it or command C to copy it. You're gonna drop it in here and then you're gonna just drag this down a little bit so the scale's a little bit smaller. Press the check mark. Now, in Photoshop, you can essentially take any parts of your image and stretch them out. And there's a lot of creators that do this and you may not even know it. You're gonna select your area. You're gonna go to your move tool, click on it, and then you're just gonna drag it up. Something like this is super easy to do, especially when you have nothing in the sky and you know nothing in the water. You can just drag these freely. The problem you run into is when you start stretching outside and you have trees or objects and buildings and things like that. So you're gonna wanna be careful. Sort of make it as minimal as possible when you're dragging those, those sections so that it doesn't look too unnatural. What I did with this image here is I, I grabbed the sides a little bit and then I just finished it off by grabbing the clone stamp tool, grabbing a, an area and really like filling it in sort of that way. I just think this is a smoother way to do it when you do have obstructions close to the edges that might get in your way a little bit. Awesome. Now you can clean that up uh, obviously a lot more. You can mess with the trees a little bit so it doesn't look as soft in a, a lot of areas. But for the most part, it's as simple as that. I'm gonna take one more image and show you what a lot of landscape photographers do on Instagram. First, here's the before and after of this shot. Okay, and for our last example, here is a super simple one. Unless you know the area, you probably won't know that people are doing this. You're gonna take the same tool, highlight a section. It's easy when you have a simple frame like this. Go to your move tool again, and you're just gonna stretch the mountain peaks out a little bit. So as I mentioned, this is what I mean by scaling an image. It introduces a little bit more of a massive scale to already massive mountains, but this is what some people tend to do. Okay, that is it for today's tutorial. Sidebar. I found, I found the cable for this mic. I think the Yeti's great, but I think recording like this is hilarious. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. Super quick, super simple. If you use this technique, please let me know. I think it's really interesting. And one more thing I wanna to touch on, uh, something to remember is that art and the things you create are yours. They can be whatever you want them to be. So Photoshop and Lightroom and these tools were created so that you could explore that creativity. So don't feel like you ever need to explain yourself to anyone why you're doing these things. And if you wanna do them, just go ahead and do them and have fun and see what you can create. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Also, I, I hit a quick outfit change because last time I recorded this, I, I cut my head off.